Welcome to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, this is a boho planner. I ordered this off of Etsy. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Now there is... I'm probably going to try and go to ones that I've not wrote in. Because this planner I use so much. Um, but let's start. So this is the index. And you also have all of these little tabs up here, um, which you can click. Let's see here. Okay, well, that's my stickers. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, there's some paper. You've got all these different ones. And, yeah, it's really, really nice. Then, you've got the to-do list. You've got event planner. This is your party details, party checklist, guest list, and budget list. Go to party details. You put in your party details, obviously. Um, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. All right. Then you've got party checklist. And that takes you over. Back to event planner, guest list, and budget list. Okay, then you've got over here, you've got your travel and all these dream destinations, travel goals, trip planner, accommodation research, accommodation booked, activity planner, checklist, a daily travel planner, daily budget planner, daily expense planner, basic local phrases and car rentals. So, and if you click car rental, here we go, you've got your car rental, car model, location, all that stuff. Go over here. Here are the dream destinations. Um, America, Africa, Oce Ocean, uh, Europe, Asia, like the number ones. Obviously, you can add your own. Um, trip planner. Here's your trip planner. You can put your booking number, all that stuff. Accommodation research. Um, you know, discount, breakfast, meals, all that kind of stuff. Combination booked. You can write down what you booked, what all you got. Activity planner. Here you go. Um, for any activities that you do while you're traveling. Uh, pre-departure checklist. So basically like your travel checklist, your packing list. Um, budget planner. Travel budget planner. Oh, I did that. Um, expense. That's what I meant to click. There's our expense planner part. Basic local phrases. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. And then you'd write down. Okay. Then we've got right here this little typewriter. And this is the projects one. Project one. You click. Where's it at? Yep. Click little arrow, it'll take you your project one, and then you put in all your information for projects. We've got your goals, and then you click little arrow, and it'll take you to the goal page, which has action step and all that stuff. We've got organization, we've got meeting notes, reading log, movie tracker, book tracker. This is actually one of my favorite type, is the organization. So we've got bucket list here, we've got wish list. We've got the subscription and members, which again, you can definitely like change things and um, use it for like YouTube or whatever you want to use it for. Um, you've got delivery tracker. You can um, track your packages and stuff. Birthdays. You can track all the, pa all the birthdays, which I might still fill out. I haven't done that yet. Um, and then you've got... Password tracker, yeah, all the passwords and stuff. Um, contacts, you put contact information. Check um, chores and cleaning, so you can write down what each room needs and what days to do. Daily tracker. We've got book tracker. You can track your favorite books. Oh my gosh, um, I like doing this, but I also. I feel like tracking uh, my movies is my more forte because I track like my movies and stuff like that to see um, 
what movies I've watched or what movies I really liked and stuff. What ones I could watch again. Reading log of what movies, title, all that stuff. Meeting notes. Um, if you have a meeting or something you want to write down notes for. You've got nutrition. We've got a meal planner already in here. Now I did show you guys a recipe and meal planner thing over on my other video. But this one already all in one. It's an all in one planner. Meal planner, grocery shopping, recipes, kitchen inventory, and food journal. Go to food journal and here's what it looks like. Got the calories and fiber and sugar and all that. You've got kitchen delivery. And something you can use the food journal. You can use this also for your kids and stuff. If you want to track that type of thing. Um, to kind of see like if you have a little one. And you need to track on their food. And see like did this did this mess with them. Did this do this. Did this break them out. Are they allergic. You know all that kind of stuff. So that's another way you could use that. Um, kitchen inventory, write down your kitchen inventory, your recipes, you click the little arrow, it'll take you straight to your recipe here. Um, obviously, you know, you fill out what directions, prep time, cook time, picture, ingredients, all that nonsense. Um, oh, wait. Okay, <laughs> nutrition, and then go to grocery shopping, and here's your grocery shopping. Um, this is nice because it is already, um, like centered where you've got frozen items your dairy your um snacks and drinks you know all that sectioned out so it's kind of easier for you especially again if you take your phone grocery shopping and stuff it's a great way to use that meal planner so you can track all your meals and you can also fill out what meal um you're gonna have for what day for what month whatever things like that all right, we're going to go over here to fitness. Here's your mental health, anxiety tracker, understand your anxiety, trigger tracker, thoughts tracker, positive thinking, depression tracker, dream journal, and gratitude journal. Here's your gratitude journal. Here's what it looks like. Here's your dream journal. This is what this looks like. This is your depression tracker. If you are depressed or, you know... It happens. So some people will get depressed either just because they do have depression and stuff or others also get depressed and stuff, um, especially like pregnancy and all that kind of stuff. Um, that would be a good one to like just kind of keep your thoughts and everything. Positive thinking. You've got thoughts and tracker. So whatever thoughts that you have. Um, maybe you're thinking things in your head or something. You want to write them down. Understand your anxiety and anxiety tracker. You can track your, um, face the fear, avoid the situation, your reaction, situation, all that stuff. Okay. Then we've got over here. This is the wellness one. Here we go. The wellness mood tracker, hydration tracker, sleep tracker, vitamin, supplement, pain, uh, blood sugar, illness tracker, symptom tracker, medical blood sugar tracker. I would probably track for myself because, again, I am hypoglycemic, so I do track that stuff. Illness, symptoms, medical, doctor visits, medical. And, again, you can use this for not just you. You can also track this stuff for your significant other, for your kids, any of that stuff. Fitness goals, workout, all right. All right, before and after, let's just look through there. So this could be your before picture and after. Like I would do, honestly, for me, I would do for a picture from a long, from last year um, or year before or something before I was pregnant and then from now so that I can track that kind of stuff. Um, We've got body measurements. You do your body measurements. You can do here which is that was your fasting tracker period tracker if you want to start tracking all that um sometimes people already have apps and stuff like that they use it for because i do i use an app um but that actually is very helpful too steps tracker it's all in one like i said so you can keep track of your steps um workout checklist you've got workout planner 
what days you're going to work out, workout calendar, you could put workouts on there, fitness goals, your fitness goals you want, your medical contacts, your medical expenses, doctor visits, which again you could use for yourself, significant, or kids and stuff, medical appointments, Symptom tracker, write down your symptoms, illness tracker, which that stuff is really good to keep track of all that type of stuff for your kids, for you, and all that kind of stuff just to kind of have it. Blood sugar tracker, what you ate for lunch, things like that to kind of keep up with. Pain tracker, uh, vitamins and supplements. I honestly would use this because of... Um, like my probiotics and stuff, that'd be a good one. Sleep tracker, which honestly, I kind of should do that because of the way I sleep and stuff. Because you guys know that I have a little one, and um, it's definitely, definitely something when it comes to sleep and stuff. Hydration tracker, that's a great one to track. I honestly need to start high, um, tracking more when it comes to that stuff to keep an eye. Mood tracker, which is a great one, especially, um, so just kind of keep track for yourself to see what mood you were in, and, uh, you know, things like that. Pen, here we go, protected, productivity, heavens, I can't talk. Life vision, habit tracker, routine planner, time log, time tracker, smart goal planner, work time log, 30-day challenge. So, 30-day challenge here, productive tracker. Work the log. Here's your smart goal planner. I'm trying to go fast because this is a lot. Time tracker. Routine planner. Habit tracker. And the vision. Where do you see yourself in a month? Where do you see yourself in five years? You know, that type of thing. Alright, we've got money, here we go, money, 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 finances, money, budget, and here's what the budget looks like, yearly finances, expense tracker, monthly account review, yearly account review, Bill tracker, track all your bills. Savings tracker, debt tracker, bank account information, if you want to put that in there. Um, checklist, oh wait, it's credit, credit card tracker. Um, and information, which honestly, I don't recommend putting that stuff in there, but if you need to, do it. Just don't show anybody when you're doing this kind of stuff. And no spend tracker. Okay. Then we go over to yearly calendar. Huh? Uh, whatever one that's in the fridge. Oh, no. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Sorry. Oh, okay. My brain. Forgot. Sorry, yeah. I was talking to brother-in-law about my son. Um, alright. We're going to go in... We've got, this is the yearly calendar. I forget. Oh, yeah. Oop. Whoops. Let's try that again. Yearly calendar here, and let's click November, because there's nothing in November here. Um, so here is what that looks like. And once, all right. My bad. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I did not show you all the months. <laughs> Let's just show you. There's the month. Sorry. Um, I literally accidentally, um, showed a calendar and it already had photos on it and I need to erase that. So, anyway, there's that. Um, and then, let's go back over index here's index 
Um, I did not did not go over that because there's the tabs. So if you wanted to just click on certain things, here's that. Um, you know, all the things that I read off are in each file here. Organization, travel, event planner, projects, wellness, nutrition, and all of it is in tabs and stuff. So life vision, there you go. There it is. And then click the little, and of course there's an index here. And then you could click the little months and stuff on here too if you needed to. So that is the Boho Planner. And I will link it down below. This is actually one of uh, one of my favorite planners just because it's an all-in-one planner. But I will say it can get, um, let's see, it can just get a little hectic and with a lot. Um, plus I use, I just use so many digital planners and stuff, so... But it's a really good one if you want an all-in-one type of planner. And I enjoy it, so, and I want to support other creators and stuff. So, this is awesome. Um, love this. And I'll put the Etsy account down below. See y'all in the next one.